How'd you know? Ah, oh, you weren't good at all. <laughs> Welcome to part three of the Marketing Makeover Edition of The Loyalty Loop. In this final episode of our three-part series, we are going to see what our marketing makeover subjects have come up with, and we wanna know what you think. Have we transformed our prospects' experience? I'll also let you in on a simple psychological phenomenon that is guaranteed to earn your prospects, clients, and customers' attention. And we'll step inside our consumer's brain to see exactly how we earn engagement. All right, let's do this from right here in my office in Boca Raton, Florida. Remember, every time you fill out an online form, you are executing a moment of commitment. You're trading data for information. And every time you do that, a crucial concern wells up in the back of your consumer's mind, as we saw in part two. Up in the back of our mind called a crucial concern. If we want to build trust with our consumers, we must address that crucial concern head on. While Annette and Courtney were working on their makeover videos, I got an email from Zoom. And it's a perfect example of how they address the crucial concern head on. In fact, it's from a guy named Anye. Anye? I don't, actually don't know how to say it. Subject line, can we be friends? Then there's this introductory line, and then he goes on to say, ugh, more emails from Zoom? Don't shoot the messenger. Let me know who I should be in touch with and you never have to hear from me again. Boom, look at that. He's immediately addressing my crucial concern. It's like he's inside my brain. Now this is a wonderfully crafted email, so I emailed him back and asked him if he'd ever considered using video for an email like that, question mark. Here's what he said. I actually did, but decided that might not be the best first impression. Nonetheless, would love to connect with you later this week or early next week. Can you provide a few times and dates that work for you? <laughs> Crap. I thought, there they go again, just trying to rush the relationship. Everybody's trying to get some time on my calendar. He's ruining all the trust he built with that first email. All right, let's check in with Annette and Courtney. And before I show you how to increase engagement with those prospect emails, I want you to watch these videos looking specifically for one thing. Do they address our crucial concern? Hey. Remember in 2003 when Love Actually came out and Rick Grimes showed up at Kira Knightley's door with cue cards and it really worked for him? I'm gonna steal that idea real quick. Wanted to say thanks so much for checking out our three minute demos. Courtney is so creative, but she's not yet addressing our crucial concern. How about Annette? Hi, Andrew. I have a question for you and I'm going to get to that in just a second. But first, I wanted to tell you who I am. My name is Annette and I'm from a primo. My job isn't to sell you anything. In fact, my job is to simply help you find the best solution for your specific needs when it comes to optimizing your marketing process, brand assets, digital files, and content resources. Aha, uh -huh. Annette's got it. She's immediately addressing our crucial concern and yeah, it feels a little scripted, but that's okay, she's getting better. We'll see their final videos in just a second, but I wanna point out something that Annette is using to earn our audience's attention. It's a simple psychological phenomenon that all of us can use. I have a question for you and I'm going to get to that in just a second. Freeze it right there and let's pop into the brains of our prospects to see exactly what's going on. Welcome to our prospect's brain. There's so much stuff in here. But the instant you hear something like, I have a question for you and I'm going to get to that in just a second. A door opens up inside your brain. She's creating a curiosity gap, a void between what we know and what we want to know. She's creating an open loop, and our brain does not like open loops. Our brain wants an answer to every single question. It wants this door closed. Our brain wants to close every curiosity gap. It wants to know what's that question that Annette's got. This is such a simple way to earn our audience's attention, and Annette's doing a great job at that. Here's the deal, my friends. We earn our audience's attention by inviting them to chase answers. This door is going to remain open until Annette tells us what her question is. 
All right, it is time to reveal Courtney and Annette's final makeover videos in the transformation, and I want to know what you think. But first, remember, we're looking for two things. One, do they immediately address our crucial concern? And two, are they using curiosity gaps to earn our attention? Courtney, you're up first. And check out this thumbnail she's using in her email. I mean, that is good. Now let's watch her video. Hey, thanks so much for checking out our demos. Um, I have a quick question for you, but before I ask it, I'd like to talk a little bit about myself. So my name is Courtney Christie and I'm on the concierge team here at Vidyard. And what that means is I get to help people every day um, find how they can use video, whether it's to um, convert more leads or stand through the noise. So the awesome part is I'm not selling, I'm literally just helping you incorporate video into your everyday marketing or sales routine. So back to my question, um, are you using Vidyard free? Let me know in a quick email whether you are or not, and don't be shy if you have any questions regarding that. I'm always here to help. Chat soon, hopefully. Bye now. Boom, nicely done. All right, Annette, it's your turn. Hi, Andrew. I have a question for you, and I'm going to get to that question in a second. But first, I want to introduce myself. My name is Annette, and I'm with the Primo. Don't worry, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm actually the individual that received your request to learn more about us and our a Primo Dam capability. So my job is to actually help you the best way that I can. Now that I got that out of the way, my question for you, Andrew, is does your organization have a dam currently in place? And if not, how are you guys managing everything today? So just give me a reply back and you can even ask me any additional questions as well. That way I can further assist you in your research journey, finding the best digital asset management platform for your organization's needs. Again, thank you for reaching out to your Primo and I'm looking forward to helping you with your request. Let's connect soon. Did you notice how they use a simple curiosity gap to earn our attention? Look at that. I think these emails are much better than the ones we saw a few weeks ago when we first started mystery shopping. Those original emails were rushed and predictable and impersonal. And the experience overall was totally disjointed. But it doesn't matter what I think, what do you think? Are these better? <laughs> Did we make them worse? We want to know. Leave your comments below and let us know what you think. And we want to know if you want to see more marketing makeover videos. If you do, drop a comment below. A very special thanks to the gang at Vidyard for making these videos possible. Full disclosure, I use Vidyard every single day. It's a wonderful tool and I hope you give it a try. Next week, we are going to revisit my search for a brand new bank. And I'm going to tell you and show you exactly what's missing from the customer experience when it comes to switching banks which is a huge pain in the ass, by the way. If you don't want to miss that episode, subscribe right now. You'll get every episode of The Loyalty Loop one day before everybody else in the world, and you'll also get some special bonus stuff from me, including early access to my book. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you next week inside my Loyalty Loop. Until then, remember to address your prospect's crucial concern immediately after they fill out any online form and uh, use curiosity gaps, but, but you should know right now that curiosity gaps can be used for good or for evil. Hmm. Let's browse some Facebook posts and see how they're using the curiosity gap. Wow, what are those kids gonna jump into? I just have to know. Oh, it's a pool. I hate clickbait.